Hey everyone, so in this video we're gonna dive into the different types of biopolymers and the first compound we're gonna talk about is carbohydrates and carbohydrates are found in your bread, in your cakes and stuff like that, any food that contains flour. So carbohydrates are one of the main contributors to weight gain, so watch out guys. So in the previous video when we talked about photosynthesis, we said that carbohydrates are made from glucose. And in this video we're going to explore how is that done. So carbohydrates are formed using condensation polymerization. That means we're going to lose either a water molecule or an HCl. So as we said, it's made from a glucose. So let's draw glucose. So there's an OH here and there's the backbone and then we have another OH. So this is a glucose molecule. Now in order to make carbohydrates we need to react this with another glucose. So we have another one. So this is another glucose molecule. And what's gonna happen is as follows. Now let's draw the products underneath. So what's gonna happen is this OH from the first glucose molecule is gonna react with the H from the other molecule to produce water. Now that's our first product. So in this reaction we're gonna lose a water molecule. Now the polymer we're gonna get is a carbohydrate. Now we start from the left as we did in the previous video, so OH with the backbone and then here we don't have the OH anymore so we're going to bond it to the O and then we have the other backbone and then the OH. So this is our polymer and this polymer contains two glucose molecules so it's called the disaccharide polymer. So it's a disaccharide molecule of a carbohydrate. Now this is how we make carbohydrates. Now if we increase the length of this, if we keep on adding more and more units right here, then we get a polysaccharide carbohydrate. And this is going to be the following. So let's draw a polysaccharide. So the polysaccharide will be something like this. We have the OH, we have the backbone, then we have an, another OH, and then this we react with another glucose and another one, and so on and so forth. And this is going to produce also water. So we're going to get water plus a polysaccharide. And the polysaccharide is representing as the follows. So we have the backbone, we have the O, then we have another backbone, then we have the O, then we have another backbone, and so on and so forth. You get the repeating units and this is a polysaccharide molecule of a carbohydrate polysaccharide because it involves so many units of glucose. Now that's it for making carbohydrates so let's recap in this video we said we're going to talk about making carbohydrates using condensation polymerization and uh, we said that we get two glucose molecules for simplicity this is the simplest carbohydrate found which is a disaccharide using two glucose molecules reacting releasing water and we have the disaccharide molecule over there you notice that this indicates this is the first glucose this is the second glucose and then we moved on to draw a polysaccharide so we're acting one two three glucose units to get water plus one two three here in the polysaccharide. So that's it for making carbohydrates. In the next video, we're going to talk about making proteins. So stay tuned and good luck.